So I made a mistake when we split these ewes up into two different groups. I thought I was gonna have more time to make a couple feeders like this and to add to the second pin, but I just don't have the time, so I had to come up with a different idea. So rarely do we buy any new equipment. We usually end up buying it at an auction or used from somebody getting out of the livestock business or we have to retrofit or make it uh, for our needs. About 10 months ago, we ended up picking up some equipment and we had this cattle hay rack. The legs were rusted off of it and it needed some work done to it. But we ended up picking it up and bringing it over and storing it in the bank barn because we knew one day we'd be able to put it to use. <laughs> So originally I wanted to split this pin in two, but it wasn't really working for me. I didn't like the way it looked. What I ended up doing was putting two two by fours on the bottom of this to replace the legs to make kind of runners. And then I had to put one through here. So that way none of these lambs can get through. It blocks off their way, but it still allows them access there to the feeding trough. And so far this uh, cattle rack being converted over for sheep has been working out really good for us. So I think we'll just leave it here and continue using it in this manner. And the next thing uh, we have on the list is the ram has been in with these ewes for about seven days now, and he has burnt through one of his marking crowns. So I have a replacement. I'm gonna get in there and swap it out real quick. So now we got that marker changed on the bottom of the Rams harness. Uh, we'll be changing the complete color in about 10 days from today. Well, that'll wrap up the video there. Thanks for watching. <laughs>